Alright guys, so today I'm going to go over a few mistakes and ways to fix those mistakes on how to hit a speed bag. So guys, let's jump right into it. Welcome to RB Effect. Like that? Yeah? Good! What's good YouTube? It's your boy Reggie B. Today, I'm going to show you the best way on how to get the rhythm of a speed bag. So a lot of people, when they get on the speed bag, they just think they're just going to just hit it and it's supposed to go back and forth. You guys have to remember, it can go in all angles. It go left and right, up and down. So you have to get a good rhythm, a good hand placement, and the way you hit it in a specific spot to keep that rhythm going. So I'm going to go over these mistakes and how to fix them, and we're going to get that speed bag up to par by the end of this video. So guys, let's jump right into it. You guys ready? Let's get it. Okay, guys. So starting off, of hitting the speed bag, the first thing you need to do, a lot of people, they just think they're just hitting it like this, missing, going. It's the hand placement. You want to keep your hands around chin level at all times because it's too much distance from you going from bottom to top, going down, going down. So you want to keep it here so it's an easy distance for me to just hit. Not only that, keep a nice circular motion. You're not big circles. You want to have, you see, I'm a circular motion here. And I'm not hitting down. Other people, you see them when they're doing it, they're using strength. It's not strength, it's a speed bag. It's not the heavy bag, they're trying to hit it as hard as you want. It's speed, it's for rhythm, it's to keep that nice speed going, that hand speed when you're moving, you can keep that while you're doing the speed bag. So if you're trying to hit it, you want to, a nice circular motion and you want to hit through. See how I'm hitting from the back? Right at this fat spot. I'm not hitting at the bottom. I'm not hitting it at the top. I'm hitting it right here, which is the fattest part of the speed bag. So I'm pushing through. See, and I'm going. Boom. 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 I'm punching through. I'm not pushing down. Pushing down is going to knock the rhythm off, especially when you start speeding it up. Also, keep in mind, you have to have a rhythm. So pay attention to the sound, because after when you get used to it, you can do the speed bag literally with your eyes closed by paying attention to the sound. So you want to hit, bam. You see how it goes? Boom. And then I hit it again. That's how you want to keep the rhythm. So I'm hitting it. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. One, two, three. So, for you guys to get used to this, try a few rounds of just using one hand, and then as time goes on, you can switch hands. So if I'm one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. It's all the rhythm. That's how you want to keep that rhythm going. So as you're hitting it, pay attention. Same circular motion, same strength in each hand. So you're not trying to throw heavy in this one, fast and light in this one. So we keep the same. And as time goes on, start trying to speed it up. Focus on one hand. See, I'm able to change. As time goes on, I'm able to switch it. You see how I'm paying attention to the camera? I can still do it. It's because of the rhythm. It's because I already had the sound down pat. So I'm just paying attention. Bam, 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 bam. I don't have to look at it. That's how you want to get so used to it that you don't even have to. You can just literally hit it and just keep the rhythm going. Also, if you're trying to build up that endurance, especially when you're fighting, this hitting the speed bag is one of the best ways to do so because it keeps your arms up for a very long time. In boxing, keeping your hands up is very important. You keep your hands down, the person's gonna throw that knockout shot. So keeping the arms up, keeping the hands up at all times, even when you're tired, if you don't have that stamina, if you don't have that muscle endurance, you're screwed. So using the speed bag, because you have to keep your hands up, it's gonna really build up that endurance inside your muscle. So guys, 
We're gonna try to speed it up a little bit. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're gonna keep doing that. Become second nature as you're hitting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You make up your own rhythm. You want to hit it eight times, you want to hit it five times, you want to hit as many times you want. You just want to strictly stay with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, whatever the case may be. You want to stay at your speed. And as time goes on and you get better, you up the intensity and speed it up. That's why it's called the speed bag. So, guys. Leave a comment below, let me know how it goes, how the tips help, that they didn't help, so I can definitely get back to you and try to help you so you're becoming a pro at Speedbag. Also guys, don't forget to hit that notification button so you know my next video comes out. It's your boy Reggie B. Like my video, subscribe to my video so your boy can be back. And if you do that, I'll be your pro.